first haul in our new apartment. So I did get a big Right Stuff package earlier today and I just ripped it open and got it all unpacked because my place is a mess and I couldn't even find my box cutter so I didn't want to film trying to get it open. But so this is the status of our move so far. We've got It's all my manga on the floor, my dendroids and pins. So I do have one bookcase that's put together now. And then I have one more that my husband is still setting up. It's taking a little longer than we thought because he's actually drilling extra holes into the side of the bookcase so that I can add extra shelves. But so I was thinking about waiting to share this haul until after I got my shelves all put together, but then I figured, I don't know how long that will take, but then also I want to be able to set up my shelves and give all of these series a little place on the shelf as well. So, so I'll go ahead and get into these new volumes that I got. So most of them are from Right Stuff, but there are a few that were Barnes & Noble pre-orders, back orders, and then a few things that were from Alibris. So they're all just kind of mixed together. Let me get a little closer and then we'll go through all these volumes. Okay, so I'll start off with this, these two volumes. We got My Dress Up Darling, volume two. And volume four. So these were the only two volumes that we were missing. So now we've got all of these ones. So I'm probably gonna be reading this one soon just because I want to read the manga before watching the anime. This is a series that is about two high schoolers, a popular girl and a shy, quiet boy who become friends because of their shared interests. She's very interested in cosplay and he's very interested in doll making and knows how to sew and helps her with her outfits and her costumes. So looking forward to getting into this one. The next one is a full series that I got. So this is, oops. So this is Our Hard Ride, volumes one to 13. So this is actually the first manga I ever read. So it's kind of special to me because of that. It's a shoujo high school romance. It has all the things I don't like about manga series. It has love triangles. It has misunderstandings, miscommunications that could easily be solved with communication, but I actually do really like the story still, and I like the characters, so. This is actually the first manga my husband ever read as well. But these are our two main characters. And I'll go ahead and show the art style. I'm sure a lot of people are already really familiar with this series. But it starts off with these main two in middle school and then follows them into high school after some things happen. Then we get to know some other characters in their friend group. 
These are all Shelba covers and back covers. And this is a series that I had been planning to eventually get it, but I was not in a hurry. But then Right Stuff had their shoujo sale. Actually, I think it was a shoujo beat sale that they did. And everything was like 35% off. So I was like, okay, I guess now it's, now's the time to pick it up. But every time I would go back and forth, like, should I get this series? My husband reminded me that after I read it, I made him read it because he had watched the anime with me. And I literally sat behind him and reread the whole series over his shoulder a second time. So. This is a little special one for me. And I think I probably am gonna reread it in probably the end of November. I do really like the spines though. I like how all the spines are white and all the titles are in different colors and the little font is cute. Honestly, so I really love these, these three covers and just the way that they look, the colors, the style, but I don't really care for the earlier covers that are just kind of their faces all huge on the cover, but whatever. Volume 13. Final volume. So I know this series has an illustration book as well. Not just for Aharai, but a few of Yosaki Saka's other works like um, Love Me, Love Me Not and Strobe Edge. So I think that there are two illustration books that have artwork from those, all three of those series. So I'll have to look into that and see if that's something that I'm going to want to pick up in the future as well. But now I have Oh Her Ride in my collection and I think the shoujo fraction of my collection is like slowly growing but it's also partially thanks to rights of having this big sale on these shoujo titles okay next let's take a look at this one that has the super yellow spine you need to okay volume 11 so i got this one a couple weeks ago Big thank you to Jasmine. I'll put her YouTube channel up here. But she had gotten a hold of two volume 11s and she knew that I was looking for this one. So thanks for looking out for me, girl. And then I have two volumes now that I'm missing and I'm really close to completing it in my series, Kimini Tadoke. It's another shoujo high school romance that I really like. And I know a lot of collectors have been really frustrated with these series or there are people that would really love to be able to collect this series but haven't even tried because they've heard how difficult it is to collect some of the volumes. But I think that they're still printing like the later volumes, like those ones I've seen in stock in stores. But some of the earlier and middle volumes are harder to find. But I have heard that they're gonna be going through and reprinting this series. I just don't know when, like how soon. Maybe after they finish with Yon of the Dawn, they'll get into Kimini Tadoke because I know a lot of people would be thrilled to be able to add this series to their collection and fill in all the gaps of the, the volumes that they're missing. Okay, next. Got 
one more volume of Snow White with the Red Hair, volume 21. So this one is a new release. I'm really looking forward to getting into this series. I've watched the anime and I've read a few volumes into this series, but I am missing one volume still before I can really be able to binge read through them. But so once I get that one volume, then I'll have one to 21. And then I think the next three volumes are already available for pre-order, 22, 23, and 24. So curious how long this series is gonna be because it's already in the mid twenties. So it's not quite as long as other series like Yona of the Dawn, which is on like volume 37, 39 in Japan, I think but I'm not really sure where the story's gonna go after where the anime ended, so maybe I'll have a better idea once I read it and see what kind of things happen next. So Snow White with the red hair, one more volume. And then... Two more volumes of Yona of the Dawn. These are my two favorite characters, Sheen Ah and Hawk. But volume 37, this one is a new release. So I'm glad that I was able to get this one. And then volume 19 is another one I had on back order. So gradually they're getting, my back orders are getting fulfilled. I was just looking at my spreadsheet that has, where I keep track of which volumes I have, which ones are on order. And I think I only have eight or nine more now that I have these two that I'm missing. So I had all of the volumes that I was missing on back order. And then for some reason, one of them got canceled. So I did just put in a new order and reordered that individual one. So. We'll see, we'll see how long it takes. I'm just really glad that they're reprinting these so that everyone who's been trying to collect this series, much longer than me, people have been trying to get a hold of these volumes and they're slowly being reprinted and sent out. So volume 19, I think I forgot to show the back covers. And 37. So a basic description of this series, it's about this girl who is a princess and in the first volume, she is forced to flee the castle and Hawk, who is her childhood friend and bodyguard, travels with her. And the story is really interesting. Every time I say that basic plot description, it's like, that's just like the first couple volumes, but then it gets into so much different things, like with different adventures that they have, different people they meet, different objectives of things they're trying to accomplish. But man, I'm really excited for people who are gonna be reading through these. Volume 37 is super intense. I'm really excited as these next couple of volumes are gonna be released to see some of the things that unfold. So got these ones. And in case I didn't mention it, these ones are shoujo series as well. So a lot of shoujo today. This one is a seinen series though. And then I have one more seinen series in here. But of these ones, these volumes here, I have three more series that are new to my collection. I'll start with this one. High school debut. So these are three in one omnibus volumes. It is completed at 15 volumes, so five omnibuses. And the first one is out of stock, has been out of stock on Right Stuff and Alibris, I think Barnes and Noble as well. So when I placed this order, I did also order the first omnibus volume. So that one's on back order and hopefully it will come back into stock and get sent to me. I think these spines are super interesting though, that they're such just bright colors. 
when the original singles were just kind of playing with like the little gray viz and the typical, the typical boring kind of font, but I'm really excited to reread this one. This is another one that I read early on when I first was starting to read manga. And I kind of thought I wouldn't like it because I don't know, I'm not crazy about like this art style. But starting from the first chapter, I just literally was laughing out loud as I was reading it. It's about a girl who was kind of dorky in middle school and basically as the title says, she wants to make her high school debut and kind of change her look and become popular and have a boyfriend. And this boy that she meets is this good looking popular boy in the school that she wants him to help her and give her advice so that she can find her first boyfriend. So it's a really funny shoujo high school romance. My husband is actually really excited to read this one because I told him about it while I was reading it and he knows how much I enjoyed it my first time around, but normally with omnibus volumes, I get a little disappointed because we miss out on the extra covers, but this one, I don't really mind. Like I've seen all of the covers online and I'm not like particularly attached to them. So I'm just fine to be able to get the omnibus volumes and just with five books have it completed. So but I really like the main girl. She's just so full of energy. She's very kind and sweet. And she's just the kind of character that you're rooting for the whole time because you just want her to be happy. I actually was gonna order this series earlier, like this summer sometime. I was thinking about putting in an order for them, but I think it was volume Omnibus 2 that had been out of stock this summer and the other four were in stock. And I was just thinking, oh, I'll wait for this one to come back in stock. Then I'll just order all of them at once because I usually would rather just wait and order a whole series when everything's in stock. Like that's why it took me so long to get a silent voice because I was waiting for all the volumes to come in stock. But then this one came in stock and then the first omnibus went out of stock. So because it was on sale, I just went ahead and ordered it and then ordered the first one on back order. So eventually, eventually I'll get it. And the next series, this one is the Seinen series. Again, like I just said, when I decide that I'm gonna get a series, I usually will do my best to try to get all of it at once. I know it can be more expensive to do it that way, but I just would rather get all of them to be delivered within a few deliveries of each other. Like with this one, I ordered some of them from Right Stuff, some of them from Alibris. I think one volume that was a little harder to find, I was able to get on Books A Million. So, and that is my boy. Volumes one to nine, and this one is completed. So this is a series I recently read online and I really enjoyed it. It's basically about a woman in her 30s who encounters a really beautiful boy and thinks that he's a girl at first because of his hair and because of his facial features. But she starts to really take an interest in him out of concern for his well-being because his circumstances kind of seem like he's being neglected. And then he gets attached to her because of 
her playing kind of like a motherly role or like a older sister, older friend kind of role. But I really enjoyed this read. He seriously is like the most gorgeous little boy. So it starts out when he's in elementary school and then there are a couple time skips. So we see him then in middle school and then later in high school. I forgot, I'll show some of the art style from volume one. There he is. So their relationship really starts from her just spending time with him and seeing him in a dangerous situation and trying to protect him, trying to look out for him. But he is like the sweetest little character. But I read this whole series, I believe in one day because I just couldn't put it down. And I was on edge the whole time I was reading it because just the whole time you're thinking about what is going on in this little boy's private life, as well as thinking about how other characters in the story are gonna react to the friendship between these two. So volume two. I do like these covers, how they're white and soft, but unfortunately, most of the volumes that I got were from Alibris and they came really dirty. Like, like a lot of the covers were like kind of brown, which was really disappointing, but I spent some time just wiping them all down. So now some of them are kind of white, kind of a little, a little off white, a little yellowed, but I'm glad I was able to wipe them clean, but no one wants to get dirty manga in the mail. But I really like the, like especially this back cover, the way the coloring is on a lot of these covers where there's kind of like a color theme, but then also it's kind of that like, maybe not watercolor, but that kind of style. So some of the backs are just super plain with just colored text and a white background, but. Like this one, I love the way his hair looks. And then the final volume is gorgeous. And it's like the only cover that is fully colored like this. So I do kind of wish when they had been planning the spines that they had done them in a way that they were either all going to be white or that they would all have kind of overlapping art from the front and back covers going over the spine. But, and looking at it, my volume two is like super yellow compared to the rest, but it's okay. I'm just glad that they all came in 
pretty good condition. Well, good condition, just that they were dirty and I wiped them down. But I'm excited to have this series in my collection and eventually going to reread it again. And I'm curious how I'll feel this time reading it, knowing how it ends, because whenever I initially read through it, I was just like so anxious the whole time and on edge while I was reading it. So I enjoyed it and looking forward to eventually rereading it again. Okay, and then the last series. Daytime Shooting Star. So in my one of my last haul videos, I did get volume one of Daytime Shooting Star. And then during the Shoujo Beat sale on Right Stuff, I went ahead and ordered all the rest of them. Volume two was out of stock on Right Stuff though. And this is one that I was wanting to read right away, so I didn't want to just order it on back order and have no idea when it would come in. So I did end up finding it on Barnes and Noble and it was a back order on Barnes and Noble as well, but it only had like a week delay. So I got it pretty quick. Actually, I might've gotten it before I got, yeah, I got this one before I got the right stuff. Ones that came in today, but daytime shooting star. I absolutely love all the coloring of the covers and spines for this series. It's just so colorful and cute, like the font. This is another high school romance. Well, it's this girl, she moves from the countryside to the city and has to kind of get used to a different kind of different kind of lifestyle and different kinds of people who are used to living in the city. So another series by the same manga that was volume one was just released in English is Tsubaki Cho Lonely Planet. So I'm excited for that one to be releasing as well. And then another series, In the Clear Moonlit Dusk, by the same mangaka again, has the first volume in English being released at the end of November. So I am planning on picking up all of those series as well. And just like these other titles, I did read this series pretty early on when I first started reading manga and enjoyed it. But just like these ones, I was thinking, well, I don't know when I'm going to want to reread it again soon. So it was just kind of on my back burner as something that I probably wanted to get, but I wasn't like in a rush at all to get it. I am eight. They're so cute, all the characters. I really like this, the art style in this series. Look how cute she is. Volume 12, final volume. So in English, we only got to volume 12, but I know that other publishers in other countries did translate and release the volume 13. So this series, I guess, technically ended with volume 12, but then there was an additional volume of side stories that was published in Japanese. And so unfortunately it wasn't translated and printed in English. So that's one that I have made an order for volume 13 in a different language. But it's kind of disappointing. I really wish that English publishers 
Not only would print extras like I love fan books, guidebooks, different extra things that come with manga series, but then whenever it's especially like volume 13 and other publishers in other countries print it as a as a volume to continue past this one, it's kind of surprising. But as you can see with all of them stacked here and the volume one is blue, the spines are so cute and colorful. I love them. And then we have characters on the spines as well. I did think it was kind of weird that it's all colorful and alternating and then it's like two super dark ones side by side and then two kind of greenish ones side by side. But I think it kind of was based on what color was on the cover, just kind of continuing onto the spine. But I almost got this one. I was tempted to get this one earlier, like this summer, because it's just so cute. Like the way that it looks, <laughs> the way that it looks on people's shelves. I was just like, I almost just want to get it to have it on my bookcase because of how cute the spines are. But I'm glad I waited until I was thinking I was ready to reread it so that I could order them and start reading them before just putting it on my shelf and admiring how cute it is. But I am going to be reading this series the first couple weeks of November. If you follow me on Instagram, I did post about it that I'm going to basically read a volume starting on the 1st of November, read volume one, and then on the 2nd of November, read volume two, so that anyone else who has recently picked up this series or has had it on their shelf and has been contemplating doing a reread can maybe get into it together with me and we can discuss what we think as we read it. But so I got this right stuff order that came in today as well as a few of these that I got from Barnes and Noble, Alibris, Books A Million. And like I said, I wanted to wait until I could finish like my moving and setup of my new shelves. But when I got this big old box in the mail today, I was like, mm, I should probably just do another haul video so that when I organize my shelves, I can find a little home for each of these series. So now I'm super excited to have all of these in my collection, my volume count of shoujo just like super jumped up though but so daytime shooting star high school debut my boy snow white with the red hair community to Doke, my dress up darling i'll hard ride and yona of the dawn so i actually did get a second package this morning that has a bunch of art books and extras that I ordered from Japan from Mercari and Amazon Japan through the proxy service Buy. So I did already open up that box as well just because I couldn't wait. I don't know how people have the patience to let their packages pile up and unbox all of them on camera. I I don't have the patience for that because I just, once I get a package, I just want to get into it. I want to see, see my books that I bought. But so I'm probably going to film my haul and kind of go through all of the art books and extras that I got in that order and then get everything onto my shelves because I am still waiting on my second bookcase. So I can film both of these videos and then try to get things organized. So I'm really excited to share with everyone what my new setup's gonna be. Honestly, right now, I don't really know how I'm gonna organize everything. I'm probably going to just start putting stuff on the bookcase and then change my mind and adjust things until it's the way that I want it to be. So I don't even know yet how I'm gonna film it. Like if I'm gonna film putting the books on or just wait until it's all set up and then do an overview but 
I'm still giving it some thought, but just ultimately, I don't want to keep all my books on the floor like this because I'm like digging through them every day when I'm trying to find something because even when I had my all of my manga and art books on book, on the bookcase at my last apartment, I really am someone who like goes through and flips through art books like every day and pulls out volumes even if it's not something that I'm currently reading. So I'm just really looking forward to getting all my manga set up and I'll make sure that I document it and share it with you guys. So I really appreciate everyone who has been supporting my YouTube channel. And if any of you use Instagram as well, make sure to follow me over on Instagram because I really like connecting with people and talking to people about these series that I like. And I'm trying to start getting into doing more buddy reads just because I love when I have someone to talk to about things that I'm reading rather than just reading something on my own and then just writing in my stories. Here's what I thought of it. I really like being able to kind of go back and forth with someone while I read and hear what other people think about it and then me be able to share my thoughts and our favorite characters and things like that. So make sure to follow me over on Instagram as well. But this is everything for this haul, all my English manga. And then my next video is going to be my buy haul and all of the extras, art books, some manga as well. So, so hoping that you'll stick around and that you'll be waiting to watch that video as well. So thank you so much and hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.